Hello viewers, welcome back to our channel Career Prep. Today we'll learn a few formulae useful for solving problems related to HCF and LCM. We'll also solve a few problems using these formulae. Being thorough with these formulae will make solving problems on HCF and LCM easier. So memorize the formulae properly. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. Also press the bell icon to get notifications as soon as we post a new video. So let's start. Let's learn some formulae useful for solving problems related to HCF. To find the greatest number that will exactly divide A, B and C, you have to use the formula required number is equal to HCF of A, B and C. To find the greatest number that will divide A, B and C, leaving remainders X, Y and Z respectively, you have to use the formula required number is equal to HCF of A minus X, B minus Y and C minus Z. To find the greatest number that will divide A, B and C, leaving the same remainder in each case, then you have to use the formula required number is equal to HCF of A minus B, B minus C and C minus A. To find the largest number that will divide A, B and C to leave remainder R in each case, then you have to use the formula required number is equal to HCF of A minus R, B minus R and C minus R. Now look at these three formulae. Now, if in the problem you are asked to find the greatest number uh, that will divide A, B and C, leaving remainders X, Y and Z respectively, and the remainders are different, that is in the problem you are given, uh, given remainders whose values are different. When the remainders are different, then you use this formula. If in the problem you are given you are asked to find the greatest number that will divide A, B and C leaving the same remainder in each case. This means that you are given, uh, you are given reminders which are the same and the value of the remainder is not given. Then you have to use this formula. If in the problem you are asked to find the largest number that will divide A, B and C to leave remainder R in each case, this means that if in the problem you are given rem reminder R, that is the value of the reminder is given, then you have to use this formula. Hope you understood that. If in the problem you are given, re given reminders that are different, use this formula. If in the problem you are given that the remainder is the same, but the value of the remainder is not given, then use this formula. If in the problem you are given that the remainder is the same and the value of the remainder is given, then use this formula. Please memorize all these formulae so that you can solve problems related to HCF easily. Here are a few formulae useful for solving problems related to HCF. To find the HCF of fractions, you have to use this formula. HCF of fractions is equal to HCF of numerators divided by LCM of denominators. Now to find the HCF of decimal numbers, you have to follow these three steps. First, convert each of the decimals to like decimals. Like decimals are decimal numbers that have the same number of digits after the decimal point. So first convert each of the decimals to like decimals. Next remove the decimal point and find the HCF of the obtained integers. Finally in the answer that is in the HCF put the decimal point such that there are as many numbers of decimal places in the HCF as there are decimal places in the like decimals. This means that if there are three 
uh, digits after the decimal point in the like decimals then puts the decimal point in the hcf such that there are three digits after the decimal point in the hcf also now let's learn some formula useful for solving problems related to lcm to find the least number that is exactly divisible by a b and c you have to use this formula required number is equal to lcm of a b and c now next to find the least number which when divided by a b and c leaves remainders x y and z respectively you have to use this formula it's observed that always a minus x is equal to b minus y is equal to c minus z which is d d is the difference then the required number is equal to lcm of a b and c minus d now if you have to find the least number which when divided by a b and c leaves the same remainder r in each case use this formula required number is equal to lcm of a b and c plus r here are some formula useful for solving problems related to lcm to find the lcm of fractions you have to use the formula lcm of fractions is equal to lcm of numerators divided by hcf of denominators now to find the lcm of decimal numbers you have to follow these three steps first convert each of the decimals to like decimals like decimals are decimal numbers that have the same number of digits after the decimal point so convert each of the decimals to like decimals first next remove the decimal point and find the lcm of the obtained integers finally in the answer that is in the lcm put the decimal point in such a way that there are as many number of decimal places in the lcm as there are decimal places in the like decimals next we will solve a few problems related to hcf and lcm using all these formulae now let's solve a few problems related to hcf lcm and remainders using the formula find the largest number which can exactly divide 513 783 and 1107 now you know that to find the largest number that will exactly divide a b and c you have to use the formula required number is equal to hcf of a b and c so here the required number will be hcf of 513 783 and 1107 so let's first find the hcf of these three numbers by prime factorization method so to find the prime factors of 513 first divide 513 by 3 you will get 171 171 divided by 3 is 57 57 divided by 3 is 19 19 divided by 19 is 1 so the prime factors of 513 are 3 3 3 and 19 so 513 can be written as a product of its prime factors as 513 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 19 now let's find the prime factors of 783 783 divided by 3 is 261 261 divided by 3 is 87 87 divided by 3 is 29 29 divided by 29 is 1 so the prime factors of 783 are 3 3 3 and 29 now 783 can be written as the product of its prime factors 783 is equal to 
3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 29. Finally, let's find the prime factors of 1107. 1107 divided by 3 is 369. 369 divided by 3 is 123. 123 divided by 3 is 41. 41 divided by 41 is 1. So the prime factors of 1107 are 3, 3, 3 and 41. So 1107 can be written as the product of its prime factors as 1107 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 41. Now when you look at all these factors you will notice that 3, 3 and 3 are the common factors. So HCF of 513, 783 and 1107 is equal to 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 which is 27. So 27 is the largest number which can exactly divide 513, 783 and 1107 without leaving any remainders. Find the greatest number which divides 259 and 465 leaving remainders 4 and 6 respectively. So as you can see in this problem the remainders are different. Now you know that to find the greatest number that will divide A, B and C leaving remainders x, y and z respectively you have to use the formula required number is equal to HCF of A minus X, B minus Y and C minus Z. You can use these, you can use this formula when the remainders are different. So in this problem, the required number is equal to HCF of 259 minus 4 and 465 minus 6. 259 minus 4 is 255. 465 minus 6 is 459. So you have to find the HCF of 255 and 459 which will give you the required number. Now we will find the HCF of 255 and 459 by prime factorization method. 255 divided by 3 is 85. 85 divided by 5 is 17. 17 divided by 17 is 1. So you got the prime factors as 3, 5, 17 and 1. So 255 can be written as 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 17. Now let's find the prime factors for 459. 459 divided by 3 is 153. 153 divided by 3 is 51. 51 divided by 3 is 17 and 17 divided by 17 is 1. So the prime factors here are 3, 3, 3, 17 and 1. So 459 can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 17. When you look at these factors you will notice that the common factors are 3 and 17. So HCF of 255 and 459 is equal to 3 multiplied by 17 which is 51. So the required number is 51. This means that 51 is the greatest number which divides 259 and 465 leaving remainders 4 and 6 respectively. That means when 259 is divided by 51 you will get the remainder as 4. When 465 is divided by 51 you will get the remainder as 6. So the greatest number which divides 259 and 465 leaving remainders 4 and 6 respectively is 51. Find the greatest number that will divide 43, 91 and 183 so as to leave the same remainder in each case. So here in this problem the remainders are the same but the value of the remainder is not given. Now to find the greatest number that will divide A, B and C leaving the same remainder in each case 
you have to use the formula required number is equal to hcf of a minus b b minus c and c minus a you can use this formula when the remainders are the same but the value of the remainder is not given as seen in the present problem so in this problem the required number is the hcf of 91 minus 43 183 minus 91 183 minus 43 91 minus 43 is 48 183 minus 91 is 92 and 183 minus 43 is 140 so you have to find the hcf of 48 92 and 140 Let's find the HCF of these numbers using the prime factorization method. First, let's find the prime factors of 48. 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So the prime factors of 48 are 2, 2, 2, 2, 2 3, and 1. So 48 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. Now let's find the prime factors of 92. 92 divided by 2 is 46. 46 divided by 2 is 23. 23 divided by 23 is 1. So the prime factors of 92 are 2, 2, 2 23 and 1. So 92 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 23 Finally let's find the prime factors of 140 140 divided by 2 is 70 70 divided by 2 is 35 35 divided by 5 is 7 and 7 divided by 7 is 1 So the prime factors of 150 are, 140 are 2 2 5 7 and 1 So 140 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7 When you look at these factors, you will see that two and two are the common factors. So HCF of 48, 92, and 140 is equal to two multiplied by two, which is four. So four is the required number here. This means that four is the greatest number that will divide 43, 91, and 183, so as to leave the same remainder in each case. this means that when 43 is divided by 4 you will get 3 as the remainder when 91 is divided by 4 you will get 3 as the remainder and when you divide 183 by 4 you will get 3 as the remainder so 4 is the greatest number that will divide 43 91 and 183 so as to leave the same remainder in each case find the greatest number that will divide 110 and 128 so as to leave the remainder 2 in each case now when you look at this problem you'll see that the remainders is the same and the value of the remainder is given so now you know that to find the greatest number that will divide a b and c to leave to leave remainder r in each case you have to use the formula required number is equal to hcf of a minus r b minus r and c minus r you can use this formula in problems where the uh, remainders are the same and the value of the remainder is given as seen in the present problem so now to find the required number in this present problem you have to find the hcf of 110 minus 2 and 128 minus 2 110 minus 2 is 108 128 minus 2 is 126 so now you have to find the hcf of 108 and 126 let's do this by the prime factorization method first let's find the prime factors of 108 108 divided by 2 is 54 54 divided by 2 is 27 27 divided by 3 is 9 9 divided by 3 is 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 so 100 and can 108 can be written as 
टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री नेक्स्ट लेट्स फाइंड द प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू इज सिक्सटी थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इज ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इज सेवन सेवन डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन इज वन सो वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सेवन वेन यू लुक एट दीज फैक्टर्स यूल नोटिस दैट द कॉमन फैक्टर्स आर टू थ्री एंड थ्री सो हेच सी एफ ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड एट एंड हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री विच इज एटीन सो एटीन इज द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर हियर द फोर एटीन इज द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर दैट विल डिवाइड हंड्रेड एंड टेन एंड हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट so as to leave the re remainder 2 in each case find the lowest number which is exactly div divisible by uh, 18 and 24 here you have to find the lowest number which is exactly divisible by 18 and 24 now you know that to find the least number that is exactly divisible by a b and c you have to use the formula required number is equal to lcm of a b and c so here to find the lowest number which is exactly div divisible by which is exactly divisible by 18 and 24 you have to find the lcm of 18 and 24 so the required number is lcm of 18 and 24 Let's find the LCM by division method. So write 18 and 24 in the first row. First divide by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Write 9 in the next row. 24 divided by 2 is 12. Write 12 in the next row. Again divide by 2. 9 cannot be divided by 2 completely, so write 9 as it is in the next row. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Write 6 in the next row. Again, divide by two. Write nine as it is in the next row. Six divided by two is three. Write three in the next row. Now divide by three. Nine divided by three is three. Write three in the next row. Three divided by three is one. Write one in the next row. Again, divide by three. Three divided by three is one. Write one in the next row, and write this one as it is in the next row. So now you have the factors two, 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 three, three, and one. Now LCM of eighteen and twenty-four is equal to two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by three, multiplied by three, which is seventy-two. So seventy-two is the lowest number, which is exactly divisible by both eighteen and twenty-four. find the smallest number which leaves the remainders 13 41 and 29 at the end when divided by 20 48 and 36 respectively now you have to use the formula to find the least number which when divided by a b and c leaves remainders x y and z respectively now it's observed that always a minus x is equal to b minus y which is equal to c minus z which is the which is d and d is the difference between the uh, number and the remainder so the required number is lcm of a b and c minus d lcm of the numbers minus the difference so here in this problem the required number is lcm of 20 48 and 36 minus d first let's find the lcm of 20 48 and 36 by division method write 20 48 and 36 in the first row divide these numbers by 2 20 divided by 2 is 10 write 10 in the next row 48 divided by 2 is 24 write 24 in the next row 36 divided by 2 is 18 write 18 in the next row now divide by 
10 divided by 2 is 5, write 5 in the next row. 24 divided by 2 is 12, write 12 in the next row. 18 divided by 2 is 9, write 9 in the next row. Now divide by 2. 5 cannot be divided by 2 completely, so write 5 as it is in the next row. 12 divided by 2 is 6, write 6 in the next row. 9 cannot be divided by 2 completely, so write 9 as it is in the next row. Now divide by 2. Write 5 as it is in the next row. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Write 3 in the next row. Write 9 as it is in the next row. Now divide by 3. Write 5 as it is in the next row since it is not divisible completely by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Write 3 in the next row. Again divide by 3. Write 5 as it is in the next row. Write 1 as it is in the next row. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. Now divide by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. Write 1 as it is in the next row. Write this one as it is in the next row. So the factors now are 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 5. So LCM of 20, 48 and 36 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 which is 720. Now the LCM is 720. Now D is the difference between the number and the remainder. So 20 minus 13 is 7. 48 minus 41 is 7. 36 minus 21, 29 is 7. So D is 7. So LCM is 720. D the difference is 7. So the required number is 720 minus 7 which is 713. Therefore the smallest number which leaves the remainders 13, 41 and 29 at the end when divided by 20, 48 and 36 respectively is 713. Find the smallest number which when divided by 36, 24 and 16 leaves the remainder 11 in each case. Now to find the least number which when divided by A, B and C leaves the same remainder R in each case, you have to use the formula required number is equal to LCM of A, B and C plus R. So here in this problem, A, B and C are the numbers 36, 24 and 16. R is the remainder 11. So the required number is equal to LCM of 36, 24 and 16 plus 11. So let's find the LCM of 36, 24 and 16 by division method first. Write 36, 24 and 16 in the first row. Divide by 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18, write 18 in the next row. 24 divided by 2 is 12, write 12 in the next row. 16 divided by 2 is 8, write 8 in the next row. Divide again by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9, write 9 in the next row. 12 divided by 2 is 6, write 6 in the next row. 8 divided by 2 is 4, write 4 in the next row. Now divide again by 2. 9 is not divisible by 2 completely, so write 9 in the next row as it is. 6 is divided by 12 is 3, write 3 in the next row. 4 divided by 2 is 2, write 2 in the next row. Divide again by 2. Write 9 as it is in the next row. Th write 3 as it is in the next row. 2 divided by 2 is 1, write 1 in the next row. Now divide by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, write 3 in the next row. 3 divided by 3 is 1, write 1 in the next row. Write 1 as it is in the next row. Divide again by 3. 
3 divided by 3 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. Write 1 as it is in the next row. Write this 1 as it is in the next row. So the prime factors are 2, 2, 2, 2, 3 and 3. So LCM of 36, 24 and 16 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, which is 144. Now the LCM of the numbers is 144. We know that the remainder is 11, which is given in the problem. So the required number is equal to 144 plus 11 which is 155 so 155 is the smallest number which when divided by 36 24 and 16 leaves the remainder 11 in each case that is when 155 is divided by 36 you the remainder is 11 when 155 is divided by 24 the remainder is 11 when 155 is divided by 16, the remainder is 11. So the smallest number which when divided by 36, 24 and 16 leaves the remainder 11 in each case is 155. What will be the least number which when doubled will be exactly divisible by 12, 18, 21 and 30. Now to find the least number which will be exactly divisible by 12, 18, 21 and 30 you have to find the LCM of 12, 18, 21 and 30. Let's find the LCM of these numbers using the division method. So write 12, 18, 21 and 30 in the first row. First divide by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, write 6 in the next row. 18 divided by 2 is 9, write 9 in the next row. 21 is not exactly divisible by 2, so write 21 as it is in the next row. 30 divided by 2 is 15, write 15 in the next row. Again divide by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, write 3 in the next row. Write this 9 as it is in the next row. 21 as it is in the next row, 15 as it is in the next row. Now divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, write 1 in the next row. 9 divided by 3 is 3, write 3 in the next row. 21 divided by 3 is 7, write 7 in the next row. 15 divided by 3 is 5, write 5 in the next row. Divide again by 3, write 1 as it is in the next row. 3 divided by 3 is 1, write 1 in the next row, write 7 as it is in the next row, write 5 as it is in the next row. Now divide by 5, One di write 1 as it is in the next row, 1 as it is in the next row, 7 as it is in the next row, 5 divided by 5 is 1, write 1 in the next row. Now divide by 7, write 1 as it is in the next row, 1 as it is in the next row, 7 divided by 7 is 1, so write 1 in the next row. Write this one as it is in the next row. Now the prime factors are 2, 2, 3, 3, 5 and 7. So LCM of 12, 18, 21 and 30 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 7, which is 1260. Now you have to find a number which when doubled will be equal to 1260. So you have to divide 1260 by 2 to get the number. 1260 divided by 2 is 630. So now you can see that 630 when doubled will give you 1260 and 1260 is exactly divis divisible by 12, 18, 21 and 30. So the required number is 630. The least number which when doubled will be exactly divisible by 12, 18, 21 and 30 is 630. Find the smallest number which when diminished by 7 is divisible by 12, 
16, 18 and 21. Now to find the smallest number which will be exactly divisible by 12, 16, 18 and 21, you have to find the LCM of these numbers. So let's first find the LCM of 12, 16, 18 and 21 by division method. So write 12, 16, 18 and 21 in the first row. Divide first by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Write 6 in the next row. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Write 8 in the next row. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Write 9 in the next row. And 21 is not divisible completely by 2. So write 21 as it is in the next row. Divide again by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Write 3 in the next row. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Write 4 in the next row. Write 9 as it is in the next row and 21 as it is in the next row. Divide again by 2. Write 3 as it is in the next row. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Write 2 in the next row. Write 9 as it is in the next row. Write 21 as it is in the next row. Divide again by 2. Write 3 as it is in the next row. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. Write 9 and 21 as it is in the next row. Divide again by, divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. Write 1 as it is in the next row. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Write 3 in the next row. 21 divided by 3 is 7. Write 7 in the next row. Divide again by 3. Write 1 as it is in the next row. Write this one as it is in the next row. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. 7 is not divisible by 3. So write 7 in the next row. Now divide by 7. Write 1 as it is in the next row. Write this one as it is in the next row. Write this one as it is in the next row. 7 divided by 7 is 1. Write 1 in the next row. So now you have the prime factors 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 7. So the LCM of 12, 16, 18 and 21 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 7, which is 1008. Now, you have to find a number which when, from which when you subtract 7, you will get 1008. To do that, you have to add 7 to 1008. So when you add 1008 plus 7, you will get 1015. This means that when you diminish 1115 by 7, that is when you subtract 7 from 1015, you will get 1008. And 1008 is divisible by 12, 16, 18 and 21. So the required number is 1015. The smallest number which when diminished by 7 is divisible by 12, 16, 18 and 21 is 1015. Let n be the greatest number that will divide 1,305, 4,665 and 6,905 leaving the same remainder in each case. Find the sum of the digits in N. Now, it's given that the remainders are the same but the value of the remainder is not given. Now, you know that to find the greatest number that will divide A, B and C leaving the same remainder in each case, you have to use the formula required number is equal to HCF of A minus B, B minus C and C minus A. You can use this formula when the remainders are the same in each case and the value of the remainder is not given as seen in the present problem. So, now you have to find the required number for in this problem. The required number is equal to HCF of 4665 minus 1305 
6905 minus 4665 and 6905 minus 1305. Now 4665 minus 1305 is 3360. 6905 minus 4665 is 2240. 6905 minus 1305 is 5600. So, now we have to find the HCF of 3360, 2240 and 5600. Let's, the, let's now find the HCF of these three numbers by uh, prime factorization method. First, let's find the prime factors of 2240. Divide 2240 by 2, you will get 1120. Divided 1120 divided by 2 is 560. 560 divided by 2 is 280. 280 divided by 2 is 140. 140 divided by 2 is 70. And 70 divided by 2 is 35. Now divide by 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. And 7 divided by 7 is 1. So now you got the prime factors as 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 7 and 1. So 2240 can be written as 2 multiplied by 2, 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 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. Next let's find the prime factors for 3360. 3360 divided by 2 is 1680. 1680 divided by 2 is 840. 840 divided by 2 is 420. 420 divided by 2 is 210. 200, next divide by 3. So 210 divided by 3 is 105. 210 divided by 2 is 105. Now divide by 3. So 105 divided by 3 is 35. 35 divided by 5 is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. So the prime factors now are 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. 3, 5, 7 and 1. So 3360 can be written as 2 multiplied by 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 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. Finally, let's find the prime factors for 5600. 5600 divided by 2 is 2800. 2800 divided by 2 is 1400, 1400 divided by 2 is 700, 700 divided by 2 is 350, 350 divided by 2 is 175. Now divide by 5, 175 divided by 5 is 35, 35 divided by 5 is 7 and 7 divided by 7 is 1. So you got the prime factors 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 7 and 1. So 5600 can be written as 2 multiplied by 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 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 7. When you look at all these factors, you will see that the common factors are 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5 and 7. So the HCF of 2240, 3360 and 5600 is equal to 2 multiplied by 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 5 multiplied by 7 which is 1120. So 1120 is the greatest number that will divide 1305, 4665 and 6905 leaving the same remainder in each case. So now you are asked to find the sum of the digits of 1120. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 4. 
so the sum of digits in the number 1120 is 4 viewers please go through this video till you have memorized the formula perfectly hope you have understood all the solved problems try and solve these problems by yourself we'll solve more hcf and lcm problems in another video please do watch that video also if you have liked this video please like subscribe and share this video thank you